Hello happy people, Hamza here and welcome to this video. In this tutorial, I'm going to take you through an exciting Elementor extension called Smart Sliders 3. And the beauty about this tool is that you can create layer sliders for your Elementor website for free and also there's a premium version. And why Smart Sliders? Smart Sliders actually enables you to create layer sliders within Elementor. And the good thing is that you can add a couple of layers like for example a heading, text, images, buttons within a single slider. And the good thing is that you can actually perfectly customize every single section of the slider and make it even mobile responsive for any kind of devices your clients will be viewing your website on. And by watching this video till the end, you'll be in position to learn how to actually get started using smart sliders. Enjoy the video. Today I'm going to take you through this exciting tool called Smart Slider 3, which will enable you to create beautiful and powerful sliders in your WordPress website without touching a single line of code. Now, when you scroll down here, you realize that you have the features, you can design your own slider, you have templates, and you have more features. And of course, this smart slider has been used by over 500,000 people, which I think is a very good number to indicate that they actually have a good product. That aside, one of the things I find interesting is that Smart Slider will give you one the ability to have a number of pre-made designs you can use in your Elementor website. On the other hand, all the sliders will be 100% responsive on different devices that they will be viewed on. And on top of that, you will actually be in position to add as many layers as possible to a single slide in your design. You see, for example, you can add an image of a person, headings, titles, and even paragraph sections within that same slide. There is actually a free version for this specific slider and also a pro version that we are going to look into in this very same video. Now, if we look into some of the features, you have 16 awesome sliders that you can add, for example, images, headings, text buttons, videos within your sliders. You have the ability to live preview that slider before you actually publish it. Uh, you can show the slider to a specific device. For example, you can design sliders for desktop, tablet, and mobile, and then you actually have a lifetime of updates. I mean, these developers are always making sure that Smart Slider is up to date and is compatible with the current changes in the ecosystem. There are actually five slider types you can actually build with Smart Slider, from simple standard sliders to complex sliders that can even include blocks and even full page designs. And in case you want to create something advanced, you are actually in position to get hands-on with code and add a couple of customizations that you want. But hey, it is not mandatory that you actually have to know how to code to use the slider. Now, when we go right into our WordPress website, like I told you, there is a free version of the slider. At the moment, I already installed the free version. Just for you to see how you get that version, you simply come here to plugins, add new plugin. And right here, you have to search for smart slider. Automatically, it will show up here. You simply just have to install and activate. Like I said, at the moment, it has over 500 active installations. Once it's activated, it will show up right down here. Simply just click there. And boom, here you go. You actually have filters right down here. You can filter your sliders. You can even categorize your sliders. And right here, you can create a new slider. You can view the template library. You can even import already made sliders to use in your WordPress website. For example, I already imported this one. And let me show you how that looks like. Here you go. It's actually a blog post. And it has three sliders right down here. Okay, that's how it looks like. And then on the side of Elementor, I basically just added a widget, which is right here. I just search for slider and right here it shows up smart slider. You see, once you grab that widget and drop it down in your Elementor section, for example, if I add over here a new section, I grab my smart slider, I paste it right here. Here it will give me the option to select a slider that I want to add to that specific section. Okay, now before I actually add that slider, I'm going to delete this section right here. Then I'm going to come back to our smart slider section and I can either create a new slider from scratch or I can simply import a slider from a template library. Let me try the option from the template library. Actually go back. So we have these uh, categories. You can actually have free sliders. And they are also pro sliders in case you get the pro license. Now, these are all free, the ones that you see with free. So maybe I'll try to import something here. Maybe this one, gradient slider. 
and boom it's already imported these are all slides okay and then to use it in your elementor website you can use either a short code or it will basically show up the already imported sliders to use in case you want to make changes you can make changes on how your slider is going to show up for example you can add arrows you can also change how the arrows appearing like you can change the positioning and uh, in case you want to use change the bullets in case you want to use the bullets right down here you can enable them you can disable them you can even uh, make changes to the text bar like for example this and thumbnails thumbnail for that specific uh, slider that you're going to use and even shadows anyway we don't want to make any changes right now but of course you get an idea of what you can create with this smart slider and since i've already imported my slider i can give it here a name that i want to use but in this case i'll leave it to be demo slider free full width i'll simply save when i save that slider then it, now it will be available in my sliders templates then i'm going now to simply add the slider widget add it to that section and right here it should be in position to show up my slider okay but it's not showing up for some reason let me first reload this page so i'll try once again to add a slider right down here grab a slider widget drop it over here and boom our demo shows up here so i'll simply click on it and then we will see it appear right in this widget boom here it goes okay now our slider is showing up see how that looks like oh really beautiful okay now i can simply come back here then i'll simply update when i update then i'm going to see this on our live page i'll simply come back over here and then i'll reload our page we go boom our slider shows up Oh, this is really beautiful you can even now uh, navigate through your slider now all these are layers this is a layer this is a layer this is a layer and this is what actually makes smart slider one of the winning guys out there now you can even move this section to the very top of the section of your website you can even move it down depending on how you want to set up your website but basically you get the idea on how you can get started using smart slider on the other hand if you basically want to create a new slider you simply click over here name your slider give it a name my slider demo you can set the width and height of your slider uh, you can get a preset of your slider in case you want it to be full width you can even import sample sliders to get started creating your slider so in this case i'll leave it blank and boom here you go now here you can start creating your slider by clicking over here you add images to the slider then later you can start adding layers to your slider once you are done you can even make settings right here in case you want to change some things responsive mode the cache even the general settings even the fonts and a lot more other things now once you are done creating your slider simply just come back here up to the dashboard come to your slider that you created for example here and then you can even preview your slider right here and you see how your slider is going to look like anyway that was a quick walkthrough in smart slider but before i actually close i want to take you through in case you want to get the pro version of smart slider they have three packs there's one for a single domain business and unlimited the one for single domain is 35 dollars and this is one time payment with lifetime updates and support and in case you want to get the one for business it supports 10 websites and you can have it at 150 dollars still also one time payment and you'll get uh, a lifetime of updates and support and in case you're an agency and you want to get uh, this month slider for unlimited websites you can have it at 250 dollars for unlimited websites lifetime updates and one time payment anyway that's it that was my quick walkthrough in smart slider and in case you want to create smart sliders actually in the sense of them being smart then you should consider smart slider which i think is a tested tool and an extension for elementor website that is really amazing thank you so much for watching this video i hope that now you have an idea on how you can get started creating advanced sliders for your elementor website not just advanced sliders but actually layer sliders 
within your Elementor website. In case you have any questions or comments about smart sliders, please leave them down in the comment box below. Or in case you want me to make a specific video, please let me know also in the comment box below. I'll be happy to read from you. And in case you are new to this channel, please also consider hitting the subscribe button and the bell icon so that you don't miss out on new tutorials when I push them out. And if you like this video, please like it. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video.